The start of Harry Potter series and with the new COPPA Act, I'm not sure if this could be considered for kids because Harry Potter is kind of, I don't want to say for kids, I mean a lot of the movies are teen. But after finding out you can get fined $50,000 if your video is deemed for kids by some person out there and YouTube's not going to do anything about it. They pretty much said we're on our own here so I just don't want to risk it. I would say Lord of the Rings is definitely not for kids. All the movies are at least PG-13 so we're good on that one. I think it's just kind of a scary time on YouTube and I don't want to do anything that could risk mainly getting a $50,000 fine. <laughs> but yeah, so the idea with today run is we're going to be playing as Sindarin Legolas, nicknamed Legolas for short. In his backstory, he was a Noldor elf child, and in his adulthood, he was an elf ranger. As far as traits, he's a legendary sniper, which he doesn't start out as a legendary sniper, and so a lot of these bonuses are diminished at the start until we do rank him up. Like, for example, he only gets, I think, plus 0.1 movement speed, way less bonuses to aiming time, I think it's only like minus 10%, and then way less shooting accuracy, but we will be able to work him up to a legendary sniper once we rank him up a bit. As far as his other two traits, we're going to make him a jogger for plus 0.4 movement speed and trigger happy which gives him less aiming time and a little bit less shooting accuracy as far as the skills we're not giving him any bonuses the only thing we're giving him is a burning passion for shooting he's got 10 shooting nine in melee two in crafting two in intellectual all of which are because he's a Noldor elf child and a elf ranger and they give him those bonuses like we can't bring them any lower than they currently are legolas is also an elf so he will not die from old age and has greatly increased blood filtration so it's much easier for him to get over illnesses 200 percent sight makes him much more accurate. I believe metabolism affects rest gain, so he doesn't need to rest as long, and he also gets a movement speed bonus. We're going to be using Randy Random as our storyteller on Merciless Difficulty, and as far as where we currently are on the map, we're pretty much in a central location, next to a few cities, which are from a mod Rim Cities, which is a really cool mod, and we're going to be exploring those really early on. We were also quite blessed with another mod we're using, which is called Real Runes, which generates runes of real players' colonies on each map. And like in this rune, we got a bunch of leftover steel, as well as some wood. We'll have Legolas come over here and make a bow which by the way he can only do because he does have a crafting skill of two and he gets that from being a Noldor elf child. He made a poor bow which by the way there's a around 50% chance that it's poor, 20% chance that it's awful, and 20% chance that it's normal. So that was about the outcome we were expecting. With real runes there's more runes on the map and some of them are guarded by animals like this Titanus is guarding this runes which by the way has a movement speed of seven and Legolas's movement speed is not seven but if we tag it a few times we should be able to outrun it and yeah actually we just ran away from it enough so that it de-aggroed. All right, we tagged this guy a bunch. It took quite a few arrows to take him down, but yeah, he went unconscious. We'll finish him off with a nice dagger to somewhere. And we'll head down here to this runes, which has a butcher table outside as well as a comms console, which we can't really use the comms console right now as far as I know. But the butcher table will be very useful as it is fairly annoying to have to build a butcher table really early on, especially when your colonist has zero construction. I mean, there's only like a 25% chance that they will botch it, but if they do, that's a lot of wood loss. All right, so we got the giant birdie butchered up and we got 68 bird skin from that, which we will be making into a bird skin tribal wear. Once we make that, it will fix Legloss's naked moodle debuff as well as it might fix his sweaty moodlet debuff. It's currently 91 degrees outside, and without clothing, his max comfortable temperature is 90 degrees. Now, I'm not sure how well bird skin does in heat, but we're about to find out. And he made a normal one. That's actually really good. 20% chance only on that. That raises maximum comfortable temperature to 100 degrees, and bird skin's pretty okay in heat, I guess. 10 degrees insulation against heat and cold. There's also a room in here. We can check that out as well. Let's just hope there's no animals inside. There's not, and there's a bed inside, a double bed. This could be our bedroom for now, and we could deconstruct all these walls and make it into one massive room. We could add some flooring to it as well, just to make it look nice. There's a vent here, which is venting in, I guess, there's pretty hot air outside. We can actually close this vent. I'm not sure if that's a mod or if you can actually do that in the base game. But that's pretty cool. Rather than having to waste the time to deconstruct a vent, we can just close it. Now I think about it, we don't actually need to deconstruct all these granite walls. We can just deconstruct one of them because it's taking a while and after you added the steel wall this room and this room are both considered the same room just because they're connected there's no door to separate them there's also some leftover wood so let's drop a cooler in here and let's hope he doesn't botch it as that's 50 wood well that'd be 25 wood we'd waste okay cool he didn't botch it let's finish the roof and with that, we are cool and fully roofed in. I was going to put paved tile in here, but it's taking forever. So we're just going to use concrete. Because yeah, Legolas only has one construction skill. But with concrete, he can lay it down really quickly. As far as I know. Oh, he actually just pulled out some sandstone tile there. 
I guess there was some tile on the ground that I didn't see. But yeah, he lays down the concrete really fast. And even though it's not the prettiest, I believe it's still prettier than being on straight up sand. And after taking the steel and the blocks out of the room, it's actually not that bad of a room to look at. It's fairly beautiful. It's neutral beauty, quite spacious, and it's fairly impressive. Which is pretty good for our first day considering Legolas is not good at mining, not good at chopping down trees, and not good at constructing. So without the mod real runes, we would have none of this. Big ups to the mod real runes. Being that Legolas is a sharpshooter, which is the lowest form of sniper, I don't know if you guys remember the character creation, we chose legendary sniper, which is what we will champ to be, but we start out as a sharpshooter, which gives him a little bit more movement speed, less aiming time, a little bit more shooting accuracy. But this tree also gives him access to some really nice abilities like disabling shot, which is really good against unarmored targets. Now this Deodon is an unarmored target. It has zero armor. And so we should be able to hit it here which did cause the Deodon to revenge, but it's down for like one and a half seconds. So if we can just finish it off before it gets back up, we'll be good here. And we did. That's always a little bit scary because if Legolas doesn't get there in time and the Deodon does get back up, it will attack Legolas and it probably can like two shot him. But yeah, we butchered the Deodon up, got some more meat. And by the way, we do still have this bird meat, which is really deteriorated. I guess it deteriorates quicker in the rain or something because it deteriorated really fast. We can also butcher up this barb slinger, which was dead from, I guess the Deodon. Must have killed that thing. It says the Deodon smashed the barb slinger with her left hoof. Deodon teeth wounded her shell. So yeah, it must have been the Deodon. But yeah, we got a bunch of insects meat and some chitin from that and because it's all going to go bad relatively quickly we're going to take it all on the road and we're going to go on our first caravan mission over to Gavexa, the red ocean people they look fairly close to us as there's a road connecting but there is a mountainous tile between us which is on a road but it still has a movement difficulty of two regardless though we will get there before we have the rest which is nice and the bird meat sells for eight cents a pop because it's so deteriorated even less than the insect meat ouch we might not even sell that off because 150 bird meat is only going to net us 12 silver and legolas can eat that while he's heading back home you may be wondering why we don't cook the meat and we just eat it raw and that's because legolas has a cooking seal of zero. If Legolas does cook the meat, there's a 20% chance of getting food poisoning versus if he eats the meat raw, there's only a 2% chance of getting food poisoning. The only negative is he does get a negative seven moodlet debuff for quite some time or eating raw food. So that does kind of suck, but it's way better than getting food poisoning. Food poisoning is the absolute worst. But yeah, so we'll dump off all this insect meat. We really have no use for it right now. And we'll dump off all this pork as well as the bird skin, the pig skin, and the chitin actually sells for 147. As far as what to buy from these guys, they do have a dwarf horn bow, which is a good quality. And this thing has 32 range versus our short bow has like half that. So yeah, let's pick that up for 230 bucks. Not a bad deal. And with that, we'll be heading right back home where there is a mammoth worm. Now this thing has 50% armor and I don't think we're going to be able to disable it, but we can try. Yeah, that didn't actually do anything. Let's use anti-armor on it, which does good damage against armor targets. Actually did really good damage. It's quite injured. No, we're actually hitting it pretty hard. Like, it's not that tanky, I guess. Or maybe the Hornbow just does pretty good damage. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's just not that tanky, though. And we butchered that guy up for a bunch more insect meat, which is pretty meh. But then we got some Black Insect Chitin, which has really good armor. 175% armor. So we could definitely make that into some kind of gear. Market value is pretty high at 420, so we could also sell it as well. There's also one of those giant pigs that we killed earlier that got killed by something, so we butchered that up too. And we got a bunch of meat from that. Since we're not going to be here that long, I think we'll just hunt all the wildlife we can. And we're going to take on these boomlops too. Boomlop Revenge, eh? There's only a 2% chance to revenge, I think. So that's unlucky. Or maybe very lucky. Depending on what you consider lucky. And holy cow, how'd that hit? These things do tend to explode when killed. And the body's actually burning. Wait, we gotta extinguish that. This boom lopes down, and I could finish it off in melee, but I don't trust it to not explode. We're gonna fire at it. Finish it off that way. Really, Legolas? Why are you missing this? He's not even moving, dude. How is he missing all those shots? There we go, finally hit. And this Boomlop is smart. He's like, if you want to kill me, I'm taking some of your base out with me. How is he less accurate firing at something that's not moving and it's unconscious? Like, he missed five shots in a row just now. We took out one of these Gallimimuses as well, skinned it, and so we got a bunch of meat and furs to sell, which is exactly what we're going to do. We can 
barely carry all this stuff 34 out of 35 kg but we're gonna grab it all and we're gonna head down to this dwarf hill clan colony of gabawol and these guys seem to have a lot of hyperion gear they have a hyperion exosuit which is actually really solid it gives 140 percent protection against pretty much most range attacks and it also gives extra movement speed and construction speed with really good insulation against the cold and decent insulation against the heat this thing costs 1852 bucks and so i think we might try to save for that because it seems really strong and they also do have a hyperion assault rifle which is 1441 bucks it'd be nice to pick up a hyperion assault rifle as well so we might save for both of those but yeah, these gallimimuses will absolutely not fight back and so they're perfect targets to just farm off of they also do drop a pretty good amount of meat and leather as well and i think after killing these five gallimimuses and skinning them we might be able to buy that hyperion assault rifle i feel like that'd be a better investment than the armor right now because of the fact that if we do buy the assault rifle we can start mowing down animals quicker such as this civetherium over here which has 720 meat and 240 leathers and zero armor so you know what that means disabling shot time it did revenge but you know let's finish it off and just like that Ligolos has grown stronger and is ready to develop a combat skill and he did that earlier as well so he has two level ups we're gonna invest those points into sniper training he's already at level zero and for two skill points we can bring him up to level one which does increase his accuracy improves his aiming time and improves his movement which is all really good stuff and i think it's better than anything else that we can get in this tree so we're definitely gonna prioritize doing that first and what the heck is this thing a dino Charius is just dead over here it had some toxic buildup i don't know what that was from and and I guess it died to a barb slinger. It's only missing around 10% of its body parts too. So we'll get most of the meat and leather from skinning it. And over here, there's actually a Brontosaurus, which is insane. Like this thing drops tons of stuff. But I think before we take that on, we're going to go on a trade mission and grab all this stuff because we can barely carry all of it. And yeah, getting all the meat and the furs brings us up to 33 out of 35 kg mass. We can't even bring the silver with us. It's going to be too heavy. I mean, we can bring 300 and we might be able to buy the gun. All right, we made it here. And after dumping off all the meat and the furs it's only bringing us up to 1166 which actually might be enough for the assault rifle yeah it's barely enough it's good we brought all this silver we'll be testing out the hyperion assault rifle in the next episode if you guys are liking it and you want to see me finish this run then drop a like on the video i want to thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one